Missing Melania Trump barely makes news, things are getting weirder. I am not one for conspiracy theories, and so I don't find the guesses flying around the lefty internet about Melania Trump's whereabouts particularly convincing. But I am very interested in double standards, and I find it hard to believe that if Michelle Obama disappeared from the public eye for nearly a month that there wouldn't be some sort of sustained public inquiry. It's fun to imagine that Melania, who has been mummed endlessly because of her apparent distaste for the president, has finally flown the coop and left her notoriously misogynist husband. And who knows, maybe she has. But the reasons behind her lack of public appearances are less interesting to me than the fact that we're so used to bizarre and out-of-bounds behavior from this administration that something like a missing first lady barely makes the grade for news coverage. Things are weird my friends. And they're only going to get weirder. Glass half full. Illinois just became the 37th state to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment, and wouldn't it just be incredible to finally get this thing passed during the Trump years? What I'm reading. Who I'm reading. Advertisement. Rebecca Traster on Samantha B and the War of Words, Kath Pollitt on Ireland's historic win for women and choice, and Aaron Biba on the sexist mob defending Elon Musk. What I'm listening to. Helen Rossner talking about hashtag me too in the culinary world on David Chang's podcast. How outraged I am. A man who identifies himself as a rapist and pedophile is running for office in Virginia and thinks he will win because a lot of people are tired of political correctness and on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to take a nap. How I'm making it through this week. Channeling this hedgehog's chill.